show you a pen that I've never tried before. I've been interested in it for a long time, but I was just, I guess I was waiting for the right model of it to come around. And it is a Waterman Karen. I think that's Karen. My mind wants to say Karen, you know, but it's, I believe it's pronounced Karen. I've long been interested in this pen, mostly because of the way it looks. It's it kind of has a beautiful kind of art deco look about it. And to be honest, I haven't bought a Waterman in a very long time. And when I saw this model come out, the less, try I don't speak French, but I try to pronounce it as best as I can. La Sense de Bleu. I, I saw that and I was like, wow. Okay, that's the current I need to get for sure. That is beautiful. And so that's what I have in this box. And I found mine over at Pen Boutique. There it is. I just love that blue and silver. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the box here real quick. I mean, that blue and silver is just beautiful. Let's see what's underneath this false bottom. So there is a little brochure. Let's see here. It's basically gives you directions how to fill your pen and an international guarantee. It also comes with a long ink cartridge. So if you don't have ink to start off with for this pen, well, you'll have an ink cartridge to kick it off. Here is the pen. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? I was just, when I saw this combination, this dark blue and this beautiful wave pattern on the cap, I was like, wow, okay, that, that is gonna be my first cut in. This is the one I want. Apparently, the everything is brass, and so the barrel is brass with a dark blue lacquer on it, and then this is, uh, the cap is brass with the wave pattern and some sort of silver stuff on it. I just love the shape of it. Here's the back of it or the bottom of the barrel. And so it has kind of a round, almost like teardrop shaped end to it. Or, and it has a dark blue dot. And so yeah, the shape of the pen is very unusual. And the size is very nice too. This is actually a really good size for me. Now, the really cool thing about this pen is the nib. The cap pops off and on, and I love that click. What I love about a cap like this is I could just take off the cap with one hand and use, I could use the pen when I need to. Here's the nib. It has an 18 karat gold inlaid nib. It's very unusual. I got a medium just because that's I mean, that's the nib size I usually get. Just, I, I know it's a safe choice, but I, I tend to gravitate towards my medium or a broad nib. So yeah, it is also the section here. It is resin and you take off the barrel, have a cartridge converter system and it does come with a converter. Also has some O-rings here just to ensure if anything were to happen, if you're, heaven forbid, that this converter comes out of place, you have this O-ring to prevent that from getting ink leaking out of this. Oh, that would just be horrible, horrible. I like that it's a cartridge converter. I don't mind that very much. But what I do like is when I put this barrel back on, when I, everything lines up, the point of the nib, with the end of the barrel lines up. Does it post? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Let's see. Oh, it does. Po oh, and it posts. So nice. It's like a deep post and it adds absolutely no weight to this pen whatsoever. In fact, it's very comfortable. I would probably write with this pen posted actually because that feels really nice. And it just, it kind of weights it in the back just a little bit. It's just right. Oh my goodness, what a great pen. This pen, the thing is, it's just, it's just so gorgeous. I can't wait to ink it up. In fact, that's why I'm doing the review today. I've had this pen for a little while and I've just, haven't found the time 
to do a review on it yet. And today I was like, today I'm doing the review because I want to write with this pen. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's ink her up and let's see how she writes. experience. I mean, that nib is very smooth. It writes really nice. I really like, I really like this pen a lot. My goodness. Wow. It's just, it is so elegant looking. I mean, just a really elegant pen. And this pen could be for anybody, you know, it could be for men or women, not children. I don't think child should use this pen. Wow. I just, I just, I love the way it looks. I love the way it writes and the way it looks, I don't think I mentioned this before, but it also has a spring loaded clip, which I think is awesome. I mean, that's just another plus to this pen. And also I, I've, I didn't mention it earlier, but the shape, and I totally forgot to mention this, but the shape of this pen, if you look at it from this point of view, it's supposed to mimic the look of a sleek, elegant yacht that you and I will never own. But I can own this pen, which is close enough to a yacht for me. That's right. So if you can't buy a yacht, you can certainly own a Waterman Cut-In. Let's talk price. So I found my pen over at Pen Boutique. It was priced there at $351.99. I, of course, use the military veteran discount there. They're one of the few places that actually offer one. They offer 10% off for veterans and military members. So I appreciate that because, you know, that extra 10% just makes this even more enjoyable, in my opinion. So I got it for closer to the $300 mark, which, I mean, I don't think that's so bad being, you know, a pen this beautiful with a just a beautiful appearance, a beautiful nib, great writer. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it's a good price. I do. And you certainly get a lot for $300. So, yeah. The thing about this pen, I, I looked over at Pen Boutique, it's already sold out over there. So, but don't stress out about it. They might get more because apparently this pen will, it is, it is limited, but
but the, it will be in production for two years. So you've got two years to find this pen, and get a hold of one. I mean, that's not so horrible, right? But that's what it's meant to, it's actually meant to commemorate the, you know, made in France, Waterman is made in France. And so this is actually not the only uh, pen that's gonna be in this collection. In fact, I've got the Farney's catalog right here. And so this is a special made in France collection. And as you can see here in the picture, so we've got the Karen, there's also the Hemisphere and also their, it's like their flagship pen, the Exception, which is this pen right here in the Exception. Over at Farney's, it is $520. So yeah, if you wanna go like a step up and you don't really like the look of the cut-in or you don't like the inlaid nib, maybe the Exception is the right pen for you. I really like this pen. This. And I, I know this is like not going to be a surprise to all of you guys, but this will likely not be my last current. Um, we'll see. But yeah, well, that's really all I've got to say about this pen. I, I hope that you're able to try one out or, or purchase one or whatever you end up doing. Can't have mine. So yeah, you got to get your own. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned something about the Karen and about this new Waterman Made in France special collection, and, and that's how the ink flows. Mm -hmm.